What's up guys, I'm the ESU Vlogs back here today. Another vlog for you. You see, today I'm facing Chesterfield. Yeah, Chesterfield. And I believe Chesterfield are still in the FA Cup, I believe so. Yeah, I think so. And currently they're in poor form in the league. I believe drawing the last five games in the league, I believe. And East are in good form, winning 3 0 against Barrow. And also had a tough. They did have a tough start to the season, but today, hopefully ECR will win today, as Chester not in a good run. ECR, and as well, also I didn't mention last game, Kevin Wiley played left back, which he played pretty decent. And today I looked at the team news, it's, it's unchanged, exactly the same, so it's suggesting that Kevin Wiley is still playing left back. So, just wait and see how the game goes. I might score a bit of today, go for EC win. Home, we're home, so I'm going to... I'm gonna go with a 2-1 two, two, victory. So yeah, I'll see you get to the
Look good. Project go for long shot. Why are you going so fast? You hit my head! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you coming fast? Are you fucking blind? Oh. Are you fucking blind? <laughs> shoot! Oh no, don't shoot! Oh. Oh. Why are you coming fast? Why are you coming fast? Well done! You don't see me? You don't see me? You're fucking blind! One more pass! Oh, go, 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 go. Sure. Like you! Oh, my fucking god! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! One one draw. Full time here at the Lake C1, Chesterfield 1. Then my vlog. It's currently in the next day. As after game, I had to go straight to work, and when I came home, I was tired, so I thought to do not edit it. But then, so in my vlog, yesterday's game was, I've got to say, even either way, either team could have won, to be honest. In the first first fifty first twenty five minutes, I think I believe we could have finished the game. What well, we managed to score from um, corner comes from Mark Gates, I believe either Ben Williamson or Josh Hare. One of I think I believe Ben Williamson headed it headed on from the corner and back post Alex Winter. The second and goal, for, I believe second goal for EC, which is another header from another sort of cross to make it one 0 From there we kept dominating. Um, I believe Chesterfield had a couple of chances to score, but nothing came out of it. Then, so we were, Mark Gates, it was unbelievable in the first half. He was just in and out, just taking the players on. He managed not mix one of the players, I believe, that you would see. And also, I believe Paul McCallum from a corner, he now he scored. Well, Mark Gates crossed it in, Paul McCallum headed it, and. The goalkeeper, the goalkeeper, you know, one fantastic save. Just, I believe, if that went in, I believe we would, we would have won the game. But I thought, oh, well, the goalkeeper kept it, kept them in. We would make it, made it, we made it two 0 at the time, but it was one 0 from there. They kept dominating, and they met, after the first twenty five minutes, we sat back. That's why I think we sat back, and they counted us, keep counting us, 
and we sat, we dropped back and they managed to score, which it just all they came from. The players not um, pressuring and marking them down, and they finally got a goal to make it 1-1. Then from there, Chesterfield was still dominate until up to half time. Well, when second half comes, Chesterfield still dominate the first ten minutes, I believe. And then we we didn't sit, sit back and we came out of them, but I believe Paul McCallum had the best. I didn't see it, but apparently he had the best chance to score. I believe it, it came in. He, he could have scored, but I believe it went wide. But someone said to me that he should have scored that. From there, Chesterfield took the advantage. Now he scored yet again, but I just kept dominating. Dan left hand side. Kept coming. Obviously, they played. The some of the players did a couple of our players, and they only scored, but our defense ha handled them. And obviously, a couple were shot wide, and also one of them they only scored, but Max Trajak came out, showed a big body or big, made it look so big, and obviously he, he, he crashed or hit into their player, which I believe he you know, injured himself from doing that. But he got back up. It was okay. Then from that. From there, either team would have scored. But one other chance, I believe it was Paul McCallum, I think it was Paul McCallum, I'm not too sure, I couldn't really see who did it. But you see, like, all our fans were like, yes, it's going in, but hit the post. He hit the post, which, we could have put the game to bed so many times. But, fortunately, that game ended a 1 1 draw. I believe. That's Chesterfield lost five, six, six games in the National League drawn nil nil or one one, which for them at least they're not losing, they're gaining points at least each game. But getting points in this stage, it's not really as great. But at least they're not losing. From our point of view, we have not won at home with Ben Strevens in charge. Very disappointed not winning at home, but I believe our away form is much better than current form with Ben Strevens in charge. But I believe we won the last three home games, I think. No, Wake, I'm oh, sorry, away games, I believe. But another away game is coming up this Tuesday, which I'll be able to go and I'm going to Maidstone, which I'm not sh I'm not sure how many fans are going, but it's a, it's an early coach leave. Which I believe I believe the coach leaves at three o'clock, which not many people, well, all people have school, but they won't be able to finish in time. So not many of my lot are going, but I'm going to go there f just for the. F for the fun of it, another game. It's just Tuesday against Mesa, and then the Saturday is Dover, yeah, Dover, which I'll be possibly going to, not too sure yet. And the following is Spexham, but I'm not too sure about that one either. I'll have to let you know on the Saturday at Dover, see if I'm going or not. So, if you do, basically, join us for to give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and see you on Tuesday.